an ear-splitting roar, the heat of exhaust gases making your skin tingle. The immense power of a jet fighter taking off at full power from the aircraft carrier with a large jet blast deflector behind it, protecting the deck and the crew members from damage or injury. And then, a crucial component fails. It's a nightmare scenario for any aircraft carrier. What happens when a jet blast deflector fails? What are the consequences for the crew, the aircraft, and the ship itself? To understand the consequences of a failing jet blast deflector, we first need to look at exactly what a JBD is and how it works. A jet blast deflector, often simply called JBD, is a metal wall-shaped device that helps to redirect the high-energy exhaust from a jet engine to avoid damaging the decks of the carrier or injuring workers on the deck. Without a JBD, the powerful hot jet air could potentially wreak havoc. Jet blast deflectors are typically placed right behind the catapult, which is a device that launches the aircraft from the carrier deck. They are usually made up of concrete, ceramics, metals, and fiberglass. The structure is usually built to withstand incredible heat, pressure, and toxic fumes from a jet engine exhaust. An aircraft carrier must have one of these because it also protects other aircraft and equipment from damage when taking off. Jet blasts have the power to uproot trees, shatter windows, overturn vehicles, and demolish poorly constructed structures. Other aircraft in the jet blast, especially lightweight ones, have been blown around and damaged by jet exhaust. Jet blasts are so powerful that hurricane-like airstreams moving at speeds of up to 100 knots or 120 miles per hour have been measured behind the largest jet-powered aircraft at distances of over 200 feet. That is a level of force that is sure to kill people. And let's not forget about the heat and noise. Jet exhaust can reach temperatures exceeding 2300 degrees Fahrenheit and noise levels reach 150 decibels, which is louder than a gunshot. Now let's take a look at how a JBD works. When a jet aircraft is preparing for takeoff from an aircraft carrier, it's positioned on the deck with its engines pointing towards the JBD. The JBD is usually integrated into the deck of the aircraft carrier and can be raised or lowered as needed. When an aircraft is preparing to launch, the JBD is raised into position directly behind the aircraft. This acts as a shield between the jet engine's exhaust and the rest of the deck. As the aircraft throttles up its engines for takeoff, the JBD comes into play. The JBD is designed in such a way that it doesn't just block the jet blasts, it redirects it. The deflector is typically angled upwards, which causes the powerful jet blast to be deflected upwards and away from the deck. This prevents the jet blast from causing damage or injury on the deck of the aircraft carrier. The JBD must be robust enough to withstand the repeated impacts of jet blasts as well as other extreme heat. Therefore, they're subject to regular maintenance checks to ensure their structural integrity. The deflector panels are actively cooled by channeling seawater from the fire suppression system through them. This allows it to resist temperatures of up to 2300 degrees Fahrenheit and cool the deflector quickly enough to allow the tires of another aircraft to run over it without melting. In addition to protecting people and equipment of the carrier deck, the JBD also plays an important role in protecting the ship's superstructure. The superstructure of an aircraft carrier is located in the aft or rear section of the deck and houses the command center, radar systems, communication systems, and other essential components. Without a functioning JBD, the intense heat and force of the jet blast could potentially damage these systems, affecting the carrier's operational capabilities. But what happens when a JBD fails? The consequences can be severe. A JBD can fail for various reasons, including mechanical problems, human errors, corrosion, fatigue, thermal stress, or impact damage. Here are some potential failure scenarios. One, the JBD doesn't raise or lower properly, leaving a gap for the jet blast to escape. This would not protect the deck from the jet blast, exposing people or equipment behind it to extreme conditions. Two, the JBD is not aligned with the jet exhaust and deflects it in the wrong direction, causing damage or injury to nearby objects or personnel. Three, the JBD is damaged by foreign objects or debris blown into it by jet exhaust, causing it to break apart or collapse. This could lead to flying debris, which poses a threat to personnel and equipment on the deck. Four, 
the JBD overheats due to the jet exhaust, causing it to crack or melt. This could potentially lead to a fire or explosion on the deck of the aircraft carrier. They underline the risks faced by crew members during flight operations and the potential for catastrophic damage when things go wrong. It's a testament to the crucial role of maintenance, competent design, and quality control in ensuring the reliability of these life-saving devices. In August 2022, the USS Gerald R. Ford faced a JBD failure due to defective components causing corrosion. The electromechanical actuators, essential for raising and lowering the panels on the Ford-class carriers, were identified as the culprits. Substandard components have long been an issue in shipbuilding, particularly with warships, which often demand specialized components not found on commercial vessels. This incident added another chapter to the ongoing saga of issues faced by the Navy's shipbuilding operations. In another incident, a catastrophic failure can occur when the panels do not deploy at all due to electrical malfunction or sensor issues. This can lead to severe damage on the deck of a carrier, injuries to personnel, and even loss of aircraft. Now, let's gaze into the future, where innovation advancements in JBD technology are taking shape. In a world where technology is evolving at breakneck speed, JBDs are no exception. Engineers and designers are constantly searching for ways to make them even more effective and reliable. One area of exploration is materials science. Engineers are experimenting with advanced ceramics and composites that can withstand even greater heat and pressure. These new materials could significantly enhance the durability and longevity of JBDs, reducing maintenance requirements and increasing overall efficiency. The design of JBDs is also ripe for innovation. Some researchers are exploring the use of adjustable JBDs that can change their angle and shape based on the size and power of the aircraft, offering more precise control over the deflection of jet blasts. Others are investigating the use of active cooling systems that could further reduce the heat and stress on JBDs, potentially allowing them to handle even more powerful jet engines. Despite the promise of these advancements, engineers face numerous challenges in developing the next generation of JBDs. The harsh conditions on an aircraft carrier deck require any new technology to be incredibly robust. In addition, any changes to the design or materials used must not compromise the essential function of the JBD. The future of JBD technology is bright promising even greater safety and efficiency on the decks of aircraft carriers. Yet, the road ahead is not without its hurdles, requiring the best of human ingenuity and determination to overcome. And there we have it, the extraordinary world of jet blast deflectors. But before we sign off, we want to hear from you. Can you think of other instances where a JBD failure led to a significant incident? Or perhaps you have an idea for future JBD innovations. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. We look forward to continuing the discussion and gaining from your insights. We hope you found this dive into the world of JBDs as fascinating as we have. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos like this one. Thank you for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.